On the agenda tonight, we're going back to the mid-1980s to take a look at Leon Redbone, and he's going to be performing Shine On Harvest Moon. Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus, and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So, let's get Leon and the full band up on screen and see how they get on. Dark so you could hardly see Cause the moon refused to shine There's a couple sitting neath the willow tree For love, they pine Little Mary was kind of afraid of darkness So she said, I think I'll go Boy began to shine Looked up at the sky and told the moon his little tale of woe. Shine, shine on harvest moon. I found the sky. I ain't had no love since January, February, June, July. It's no time, ain't no time. have it there is so much to get into with this performance just first off the way that leon plays delivers the work on the fretboard but his vocal as well is so relaxed and is so cool just with his whole demeanor the vocal delivery and the playing it seems like it's so laid back and easy, but there is so much technique going on with Leon's playing, especially in that solo, but also with the rhythm work, bouncing between the root note of the chord and also alternating between the A string, the low E string, and the rest of the chord. We will get into all of that, but it's making it look really easy when in fact it's anything but that. And Leon was one of those artists that had that element of lightheartedness and comedy to his performance and his 
personality, but when you do break it down, there is so much going on. Obviously, we've got a lot of jazz influence in here, and Leon's playing is so expressive. The way that he throws in that right hand, sometimes putting in a pick here or there that you hear, but it's only just there because of the dynamics in his playing. And the other thing we can see, he's got that thumb pick on as well, which means that he can strike the strings to get a little bit more of an aggressive sound with his full chord, but then get back into the finger style. So getting into the guitar playing that's going on here from Leon, the first thing to mention is that if you wanna play along with this, you'll have to detune your guitar to D, and that is a whole tone down. And I'm talking about every string here, not just drop D on the low E string, but all the way across which will sound something like that. And I think throughout this video, my tuning might go out. I'll try and keep it as close as possible because I was in standard tuning and have detuned. So they might drift a little bit. And also for reference, I'm going to be saying A minor in the A minor shape. Also for the purposes of this video, I'm not gonna be playing it really dynamically like Leon is because I want you guys to try and hear it across the microphone. So we've got this. So it's a root note with the thumb, and this is on the A string. And then you're using first, second, and third finger to pluck the rest of the chord and then palm mute. Like that. And obviously you can vary the aggressiveness of that pick if you want to. This is something that Leon was so good at doing, just adjusting the dynamic within his own playing. Something that Leon does when we're bouncing from the root note to the rest of the chord is just apply another little pluck with the third finger on the right hand to get this sound. Like that. I'll do that again. And you can hear that extra little pluck in there to allow that B string to ring out. And then we move over to the E seventh shape. And now you wanna have your little finger on the third fret of the B string. Like that, and we're still bouncing from that root note. And you wanna have that little bit of bounce in there. It does help when you have that extra little pluck with that third finger on the right hand. Kind of like that. So from the A minor, we're shifting up to a D seventh. And then what would be a G seventh shape on the left hand, but we're picking it with the right hand, the D string with your first finger, the G string with your second finger, the B string with your third finger, and we're getting into this G seventh position, but we're playing on the right hand, first finger, so that was first finger, and then the second and third finger afterwards. And then the thumb, playing the A, back up to the second and the third finger. We're then moving down to the F. C. And then we've got the D seventh again. And let me just point out as well, you can hear that I'm changing from the E string to the A string, alternating between those two. I started doing that on the F. It is something that Leon does throughout this performance and just changes it up a little bit here or there. So going, I started on the low E string, A, E, A, C, the chord starting on the A string, moving the third finger over to play the third fret of the low E string. As you move up to the D seventh, same movement from that A string over to the low E string. We do have a quick touch on the G seventh and the E seventh before getting into the chorus, which will be our A seventh shape with that alternating E string, A string with that thumb on the right hand. So we've got this. Moving down to our D seventh, alternating still. G seventh. C. And then we're gonna be going back to the beginning of that chorus section and through the same chords again. This is the other thing, that when playing through,
There'll be little things like that, not exactly that, but extra bits of picking that Leon throws in there just to keep it interesting the whole time. And just that bouncy rhythm that he has going on, he makes it look so easy, obviously, playing and singing at the same time here as well. But there's a lot of technique and expression in his playing, especially with that right hand dynamically. So once we start to apply some of that groove and bounce that's in there, another thing that Leon does is sometimes pick twice with that right hand on the low E string and A string, so we get this kind of effect. So you can see the subtle difference that we've got going on all the time. When we get into the solo as well, so much technique in there. We're not gonna be breaking it all down because we haven't got that kind of time, but Leon throws in a lot of chromatics as is the way with jazz, throwing in so many notes, interesting notes as well in the C position. You can work your way up and down and Leon comes up with some really interesting arrangements. What we also have is a sweep picking sound. Obviously Leon's playing it with his fingers here, but he's raking across the fifth fret of the G, the B and the high E string, starting on what would be effectively an A minor shape, like that. The interesting thing is that the chord underneath is actually an A seventh. So he throws in some notes there that shouldn't really work, but it's so interesting when he does put these notes together. So in slow motion, what's happening is we're starting on that seventh fret with the third finger. And that is the run, believe it or not. Obviously, Leon, when he throws it in there, there's a bit of palm mute on there as well, but it's so well expressed and these notes, It's so well phrased as well. Obviously he's playing it with his fingers. I'm using the sweep technique to go across those strings with the nail on my first finger because I haven't got a, a pick to hand, but this is what would be done if you had to play this live, even though pulling off this part of the song would be really difficult because of Leon's technique. It is something that's gonna fly under the radar with that sweet picking sound, but playing it with finger style on that right hand. When he then comes back down, we then got this run like that. I think Leon might be going to the open string on that B string and move up and down. I think I saw his hand moving up and down during that section, but there is, needless to say, so much technique. So there's something for everyone with this performance, guitar wise, with the rhythm work, but also breaking off into some lead playing. It is something that playing, even the rhythm work in this performance, isn't something that you just pick up the guitar and are suddenly able to do. It takes a hell of a lot of practice. And then when we start getting into some of those lead techniques, that is another level of practice that you've really got to put in the hours in order to get it down to the level that Leon had it. I do want to get into Leon's history just briefly before we end the video. He was born in Cyprus, but his family moved to London in the early 1960s and then on to Toronto in 1965. And in the late 60s is when Leon started to performing in folk festivals and local nightclubs. And it was at one of these festivals that he met Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan was the first guy to bring Leon to the public's attention. In his interview in Rolling Stone magazine, he mentioned about Leon, who had seen perform and was very impressed by him and said that if he did own a record label himself, he would have signed Leon up. And this was all before Leon did get a record deal. So he got a bit of exposure from Bob and he did sign a record deal with Warner Brothers Records and released his debut album in 1975. The album was called On The Track and he also raised his profile by appearing on TV shows. As we can see here, he was on Saturday Night Live and The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. He wasn't one of those guys that rehearsed a lot either because he would just turn up and play with the band, basically jamming out jazz. And this is what 
you really get the impression from watching these performances, he's so laid back and relaxed that he would extemporize whenever he wanted to. And jamming out jazz has got to be one of the most difficult things to do. But Leon had that ability, especially considering that he would play by ear. He didn't write everything out to begin with and didn't massively rehearse everything. So it was very much a free form live performance that you'd get. He also performed the theme songs to TV shows such as Harry and the Hendersons and Mr. Belvedere, as well as appearing in various TV commercials. I think with Leon's lighthearted nature of delivery live and with his music, a lot of people might not necessarily appreciate the level of ability that Leon is showing on the fretboard here. But for anybody that does play the guitar at a decent level, you certainly get a great appreciation of his ability. He played all the way up until 2015 when it was announced on his website that he'd be retiring. And sadly, he passed away in 2019 following complications from dementia, aged 127. And that wasn't really his age, but just a final bit of humor right up until the end. He was 69 years of age. But thank you guys so much for suggesting this video for me to take a look at and keep those suggestions coming in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Rock!